Right, welcome to Batting with Hershey. Um, this is part two of the series of looking at our hands going the right places. And we, we're going to concentrate a bit. This top hand's still important, but we're going to use the back hand. So Tom, take your stance, rightio. And we want to play a few shots, just straight back to the bowler or mid off. And right, that's very good, Tom. And what we're trying to do, Tom's actually, we're working on this, getting that top hand to get back to your back pocket and that back elbow should be going to square leg umpire, keeping it in tight, straight, rightio. And see Tom just hit his bat there, and that means his boomerang wasn't very good. So when he's with his top hand, he's got to control that bat to first slip so it doesn't hit his pad. Just go again, Tom. Right, bang, boomerang. Right, now we're going to stay there, Tom, and this is the classical mistake I see in Australia. It's a massive problem, and I think probably being a... Now, Tom, I'm going to ask you to take your hands not very far back, rightio, and look where the back elbow is, it pointing at the wicket keeper. Now, this generally makes Tom point his foot straight at the wicket, rightio, Tom, just wait, mate, rightio, see the back knee comes around, so you just got to wait, Tom, rightio, that stay there. Now, put your front foot forward, point there. Now, this is a big thing. Generally, the knee comes around, Tom, towards the thing there. The flying elbow comes around the hip, now, where's your elbow, front elbow pointing, Tom? Mid-wicket. Now, play it straight back to the bowler. And that's a, a really problem. So, there's a famous coach in West Australia called Ken Muleman, and he was massive with keeping your handkerchief in your, on your back thing there, Tom. And you've got to get that top hand. So, extend that top hand even to go further back, Tom, further back, further back there, and see where that elbow is good. And that really gives you power. Right here. Now, push, Tom. Drag your back foot at 90 degrees. Side on. And then the foot bat comes through, rightio. And that's, again, a really important thing in batting. So take your bottom hand off the bat, Tom. And we'll do this with the bottom hand, rightio. And, and see the inside of his hands touching that. And the, let's do that's good, Tom, and that's there. So what I, when actually a bloke comes in the bowl, and if you stand at mid on or just a bit wide of the wicket, you should be able to see a little bit of that elbow. But now turn your elbow to me, Tom. Turn your, no, your elbow, Tom, turn your elbow to me. And that's the classical thing. And that makes the shoulder go to mid-wicket and the foot, and that's there. And then you try and play straight and inside or out. So a big thing for this, and again, what I use, uh, Tom, take your hands back, and I used to get a lady stocking and put it around his, not his front elbow, but around, and keep his back elbow so he could still move out a little bit and come back. Now, just coming forward here again, Tom, really good. And in golf, though I'm not a professional golfer, if I can just take over for a second, Tom, they actually, the golfers talk about this elbow coming in here, radio, and that makes this arm strong to give a lot of power. Now, if that elbow goes out there, you can see I've got no power with the golf, but what they do say now in the modern game of golf, you can actually take this elbow a bit out, and that's got to come in. But same batting, so if that elbow goes out a bit, if that can come in there, then you've got all this power from there, and this pushes in close to the body, and then a bit elbow. So if you want us to turn that on for yep. uh, right here. Well, thanks for watching this. And um, this is the end of part two. And if you can subscribe to Batting with Hershey on YouTube, we'd really appreciate it. And lots of videos to come. Cheers.